Welcome back. Halloween is Thursday, and if you haven't picked a costume yet, there is still time. Yes, some of the most popular costumes are actually inspired by trendy movies and shows. Nicole Maleppa and Caitlin Francis caught up with lifestyle expert and mom, Vina Crownholm, for some Netflix-inspired ideas. Take a look. Welcome back, Vina. Nice to see you. Nice to see you both, Nicole and Caitlin. Thank you for having me today. You know, we talked to you last year around this time, and we were so excited when we saw that you were coming back because <laughs> you're so creative, but yet at the same time, you're so resourceful. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we're looking at all these costume ideas, and sometimes you can get overwhelmed. Absolutely, and that's what I love about DIY, is that you're really just taking your favorite Netflix characters, shows, and movies, you're taking some inspiration with your kids, and you're just going to bring it to life with a lot of things that you have in your house. You'd be amazed at what you can find in your own closet or in your backyard, and we can make them into some really cool costumes. Okay, so we do something here called Crafting with Kate, but for people who might not be as DIY friendly or crafty, how do we manage to turn your favorite TV show character into a great costume? Well, it can be as easy as being Emily Cooper from Emily in Paris, which we all know and love that show. I do. I've watched all four seasons. So good. Um, and you can shop in your own closet and you can shop in your mom's closet or maybe in a quick trip to the thrift store. But the real idea here is to mix and match media, have fun with bright colors, bright tights. But you want to have those iconic things that make the character. So for Emily Cooper, it's going to be the red beret and that camera cell phone that she takes all of her photos with to document <laughs> her time in Paris. So once you have these two things, you can go and have fun with the rest of it. So it can be that easy, or you can do something a little bit more in depth. So for instance, I have this Hot Wheels Let's Race. My four-year-old Max loves this show, and we all get those delivery boxes. And you're like, what am I going to do with that? Make it into a Halloween costume. So we had a lot of fun talking about the show, and then he wanted to personalize his own Hot Wheels, so we picked out the paint, we picked out the papers, the stickers, all the different things that make the elements, and then we went around the house and we found, you know, black paper plates. And I'm like, those make perfect wheels. Oh, I had gold oh cupcake That's liners that genius. make great headlights. And then in the back, you know, I used those red party cups that we all love and have, and I turned them into flames with some cardboard, and now you have this really great personalized costume that was so on a budget and so cute and unique. Wow. That's oh my God. fabulous. <laughs> I have a five-year-old and he also likes that show, but I am in the category of I'm strapped for time. And also, <laughs> you know, I want something as easy peasy. And that does look a lot easier, you know, than other costumes I've yeah. seen. But at the same time, you know, um, you're always looking for utilizing those resources at home. So it's great. The solo cups that you used. What a great idea. The paper plates. Yeah. The, all, uh, the, the, uh, every, we all all have cardboard boxes hanging around with all of the deliveries yeah. that we all get day to day. <laughs> and how long did it take you to make that? You know, the biggest part about it was letting the paint dry. And that's pretty much about it. I mean, everything else is just, you stick it on, you hot glue gun it on. Very, very simple, very fast. So it's just about letting paint dry. And that's what takes a few days. But it's also what makes it really fun, right? Because you have that chance with your kid to talk about it and be like, okay, are you sure you want to do that? Or do we try something else while it's drying? <laughs> And so it's really fun to co-create. So I say have a lot of fun with your kids, and it lengthens out that Halloween magic. Mm -hmm. I love that. That's so fun. So, Vina, you uh, obviously we were just talking about Hot Wheels. We covered Emily in Paris, which is uh, I think that's probably very easy for <laughs> a lot of women or adults yeah. to get into. But what other kinds of characters and costumes can we look at to DIY this year? Ooh, I mean, from Pokemon Horizons, you have... Um, I, I did the Pokemon Pokeball because both my boys love that. So this is actually one of those plastic jack-o'-lantern oh, pumpkin yeah. pails. And then with a little bit of paint, you're going to turn that into a Pokeball. And I had a little hard time drawing a perfect circle. So I actually used a mason jar at the end and spray painted it black. <gasps> and then when I finished that, I was like, that's really fun for trick-or-treating, but you can't have a Pokeball without being Pikachu. Oh so you do a yellow sweatsuit, a little bit of um, cardboard and felt. And then I got this hat at the thrift store. You hot glue gun everything on with a yellow sweatsuit, and you've got a really cute costume for Captain Pikachu and a Pokeball. That's so it so can cute. be so easy wow. and simple like that. And you get to wear a sweatsuit all year long, and they're comfy, cozy, trick-or-treat night. And they're budget-friendly, which we love, too. And then, I mean, especially here in Connecticut, you don't know what the weather's going to be in the evening. So then at least they're warm, too. There you go. Nothing, Absolutely. Nothing like your mom yelling at you. You have to wear your winter coat, your coat underneath on. your uh, your yeah. Halloween costume. I think I still have PTSD from that. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> All right, so where can viewers go for more details? And obviously we need the instructions. Absolutely. So for more fun for Halloween, you can head on over to Netflix and Chill's Halloween Hub on Netflix.com. They have so many fun ways to take their favorite characters, movies, and shows off screen. And then for more details about all these different DIYs that we talked about today, you can head over to my website at venagoelcrownhome.com. Vina, thank you so much. It's always so great to see you. And we hope you and your boys have a happy Halloween. Yes, happy Halloween.